Hey, so fam, Amelia Adir here. Hope you guys are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good. Welcome back. Okay, I hope you guys had a great vacation. I know we just had a couple of holidays. I know school was just ending, and I know it was just a lot going on. And it's time to regroup and get back on to what we got going on. So welcome back. Thank you again for always tuning in and sticking with me. You know I appreciate you. You know I appreciate you. But let's get into today's topic, so fam. You know I'm off again. <laughs> let's get into today's topic. And I have some great topics coming this month. Selling you period. But this one, I don't know. Whew. Let's let's get into today's topic, so fam. See, oftentimes, right? We asking for blessings and we we praying and we we just we doing everything in the world and every day we like Lord win 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 help me help me help me see look see so fam we learn how to pray but we never learn how to receive ooh, ooh come on so fam we never learn how to receive oftentimes. We don't even know how to receive money unless it's a check from work, you know? So we don't even know how to receive, period. I struggled with this too, so fam, okay? That's why I'm talking about it. Because when I realized that, I was like, oh. And things started shifting and changing. I was like, oh. I was like, oh. Lord, you could have told me that. You could have you told me this 20, 20 something years now. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, it's never too late <laughs> to celebrate, okay? So, so fam, we have to learn how to receive, okay? So fam, we have to learn how to open up our hearts, open up our minds, and receive. Think of it like this, so fam. Mm. This one's good, so fam. Oh, bear with me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get up and shout. This time I was, I was, I was up in here shouting and dancing because I was just like, "So you telling me one plus one is two? <laughs> okay, so, so fam, when you are asking for prayers, right, and you praying every day, and you making shifts, and you making changes, you have to learn when to hang up the phone." Right? Because you calling in, Lord, 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 you calling, Lord, 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 you you got the phone off the hook. You just I'm gonna act like it's the phone. You got the phone off the hook and you just like Lord, Lord, Lord. And and you never you never hang it up, right? You just leave it off the hook and you like, Lord, 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 how can the Lord call you back if you don't hang up the line? So fam. You can't get incoming calls if your line is busy. Ooh. Come on, something. You can't get incoming calls if your line is busy. See, all the time we learn how to call out. We learn how to call out, but we don't learn how to how to hang up. We don't learn how to be patient. We don't learn how to receive, right? We, we learn how to call out, Lord, 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 Lord. And you got to do it in reverse, so fam. Lord, I trust you, okay? This is how you receive. You have to trust that your call has been sent out. You have to trust that the Lord heard you. See, oftentimes, we don't, we don't trust our call. We don't, we trust T-Mobile. We trust Sprint, but we don't trust ourselves. So it's so easy to believe everything that you see with your two eyes. See, you see the phone ring. You see that bill every month. You see those physical things, but you don't see God answer your, you don't see God pick up the phone in the physical sense. So you don't think he heard you. He heard you. He waiting for you. Come on, so fam. To hang up the line so he could call you back. 
He can't call you back. Because every time he, he call you back, you in fear. You flustered. Every time he call you back, you, you shuffle, you changing, you switching up. You doing, you doing, you doing too many things. You distracted. When you distracted, you can't hear your phone ring. So understand when it's the season of receiving. And when it's time for you to receive, hang up the line and trust who you operating with. See, when you don't trust who you operating with, you call and then you still try to do the job. Well, what, God is sitting there like, what you call me for? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You got it all figured out. What you call me for? Your, your prayers aren't getting answered because you're doing all the work. And if you're doing all the work, let the church say yes. Okay, so fam, if you're doing all the work, how can someone call in to help? How can someone call in to guide? How can someone call in to give insight? And in order for someone to call in, you gotta you gotta have your ear listening. Ooh, oh, I gotta write that down. Ooh. In order for someone. To call in, you have to have your ear listening. You got to have peace and silence. Because, see, the Lord don't want to come when you're all in distress. Because when you're all in distress, he don't work like that. Some of y'all got to make some shifts and got to be real. See, it's hard to be real. That's why you see so many people being fake. That's why you sitting around like, am I the realest one here? Probably. I think if they was to really do some statistics, it's probably one in 1,000. One in 1,000. Because we can't keep it real with ourselves. We know what we know. But yet, we just want to lie. Why? Because we want to feed these desires that we have with these attachments that we have let those attachments go if, if, if any attachment pulls you down three times out of the five times y'all have an encounter there you go I was with you five times and the three times I was yeah I'm counting yes I am counting you should be counting too we should all be counting. You count, I count, we count. Okay? Because I don't want to hold you back, and I don't want you holding me back. Right? So, yeah, out of, the five time, out of the five times we had an encounter, three times you pulled me down. Some of us don't even know what that looked like. When people giving you slick slurs, when people bringing up negative stuff in your past all the time. We talk about this again. You know what I'm saying? They always want to bring up the pain. I done did 13 new things, but you still stuck on that one old thing. What does that tell me? That tell me one plus one for you is not giving me two. It's giving me confused. And we not doing that. We trying to elevate. No, let me not. Let me change that. We elevating. We ain't trying. We elevating. Okay. And in order for us to get where we got to go, there's just some things we got to let go in order to grow. Okay. Y'all know I be poetic. I just, my mind just be rhyming all day long. I, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even help myself. But seriously, soul fam, get you a pen, 
get you on paper. And let's start writing some things out. Let's start taking notes. Oh, I thought I just checked my nail. I was about to be sad. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love doing my nails. I be battling them. I be oiling them. Anyway, I'll do a nail tutorial for y'all one day. Everybody be like, sis, what you be doing? Drinking water? Anyway. <laughs> Listen, so fam. Get you a notepad. Get you a pen. And start taking notes. Start snitching to yourself. Sorry, don't call it snitching. That's like, make it sound negative. But start telling yourself. All right. On Monday, this happened. On Tuesday, this happened. By Saturday, you already know. Next. Next. See, what you want to do, so fam, you want to get through. You want to get through it. Okay? If you're trying to get to where you got to go, okay, and you're trying to fix your life up, you gotta shuffle through, shuffle through the mess. You holding me back, you ain't serious, you joking around, you procrastinating, you keep lying, you keep, you get what I'm saying? This is, this is you moving the people to the side. Next, 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 next. Okay, relationships, dating. With dating, you wanna really be ruffled, baby. You don't want to be judgmental, okay? You don't want to be sitting there looking for things. You don't have to do that. So, fam, don't look for nothing. When you start looking, you will find. Okay? Everything is just going to be there. Just be chilling and just be writing. Just be chilling. Just be writing. Don't be egging. Don't be manipulating. Don't be shifting things. No. Don't be playing mind games. No. Why would you, why, why we, why are we playing my game? <laughs> why you doing that? See, when you play my games, it's not real. When you play my games, it's not real. When they play my games, it's not real. Next, don't sit around playing with people that's not real. If you want to be real. Ooh, ooh. Church is in service, okay? I got, I got to say <laughs> This church. <laughs> okay, so fam, it's not real. See, sometimes we sit in here, we like, God, God, I need something real. I want something real. And he's showing you everything around you that's not real. And yet, you'll be the first one there. You'll be the first one volunteering your energy. Voluntary services. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not in 2022 or 2023 or 2024. And the list goes on and on. So, fam, don't play around with it. Don't. Okay? People may sit around and say, oh, you're being too serious. No. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I am being serious because when you just keep it real and you're around people that just vibe with you, then you can be just chill. Now I can lay back and joke because I know you're not trying to, you know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to fish around and play games. We just being real with each other. Then I could be my real, real, real funny, goofy self because that's what it is so fair. Nine times out of ten, we all want to just be goofy. But we can't be goofy with everybody. Okay? Because when you get a little goofy with people, you know, okay, I was too goofy with you. Because now you're trying to record me and embarrass me and I just want to take my wig off. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. Okay? <laughs> All right, so film. <laughs> Recap real quick. Listen, so fam, seriously. Learn how to receive. Know when you made that call. Know, know what you're calling about. Okay? Make, keep it keep it to the point. Know what you're calling about. Hang up that phone. And don't keep 
calling, 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 calling. Hang up. Call, hang up, and be patient. And as you're being patient, trusting yourself, okay? So no doubt, no fear, no stress. Staying present, doing what keeping your mind refreshed, keeping yourself on point, ignoring negativity. We 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 hear it, but just we know it's there. Okay. Ignore it and because you gotta be you gotta be real focused if you're serious about change. Alright, so fam, Amelia Adelia. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe to be a part of the Soul Fam. And y'all already know, I'm going to see you at the next one. Bye for now.